so 100% in love with this piece. I just makes me happy. I have wanted to try this with my palette knife for a long time and I just today was the day. Um, oh, I just love it. Um, it. You know, it might not be for everybody this style, but I just love this. And I didn't even put a word on it. Um, just because she was perfect just the way she was. All of the writings coming through from the papers underneath. So I used two, two or three papers uh, vintage music sheets. They're in the, they're a collage pack and I'll have it listed for the background. And then I used my palette knives and um, I've been working on my skills. Takes some practice but it, they are they are coming. So um, I have a variety that I use. This is a real tiny one so that I can get into the corners. Long one so I can do more flat work. So, lots of palette knife work today, and oh, oh so good. Um, and let's see, oh, I used the um, this gal right here and her wing as my guide, and it's perfect. It's perfect. I don't have to sketch it out, rethink it. It's perfect guide for, for this project. So this was wing and the prayer stencil. And, and, and what else? That was, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. So this gal was inspired, and I didn't put a word on it because there's so many things that, well, I'm, this hangs, this um, quote hangs in, or it's not a quote, it's actually, um, Susanna Conway is an author, blogger, um, wonderful photographer, and um, I follow her, and she she's just got lots of wisdom. Uh, <clears throat> and so this was one of her blog posts, and I just printed it out because, and I have it hanging right in front of me, and I read it almost every day. But it says, um, To be able to have any kind of impact in this world on a micro or macro scale, we must first heal our own hurts. Learn how to take impeccable care of ourselves and live life as consciously as possible. We need a working vocabulary for our wants and our needs. Now, I want you to think about that. That's a hard thing to really be able to speak, have a working vocabulary for our wants and our needs. We can, we can tell other people, you know, what they need, but what we need, it's, it's, it's not easy. Um, uh, for our wants and our needs, our feelings and fears, our shadows and our light. So we need working vocabulary for our wants and our needs, our feelings and our fears, our shadows and our light. So knowing what our, our hang-ups are and knowing what we're good at. We need to, to really dive in and take a look at ourselves. Um, we need to be, tr be able to treat ourselves with kindness and compassion so we know how to extend that to someone else and as corny as it sounds if we can be our own best friend owning our flaws and our faults as we as well as our strengths and our brilliance we stand a better chance of not polluting the world or anyone in it with our messes it's not about being perfect um, social media tells us we should be perfect and it's more about wholehearted taking responsibility for ourselves and keeping our side of the street clean. So much of our strife comes from our interactions with each other, of our romantic relationships, our families, our friends, our co-workers, our fellow humans. How annoying it is that we can't control the thoughts of other people, but how wonderful that is that we do have control over our own thoughts, our own actions, our own feelings. Learning to not take anything personally is possibly one of the greatest lessons we can practice. When we're able to take care of ourselves, manage our needs and expectations, tending to our wounds and filling up our own cup, we show up in the world as truly self-sufficient human beings. That's the goal anyway. Lots of lots of 
oh, wisdom and goodness. I mean, I agree with every single word she wrote, and I read it every day. And so that's what this girl, this this gal right here, this angel, is your angel, is my angel, with our hearts. She's holding it so that we can take impeccable care of ourselves, our souls, our hearts, our dreams, our wants, our needs. Recognize our strengths and our weaknesses so that we can show up every day as our best self, not perfect, as our best self and be able to give that away, that empathy and strength and courage and love and compassion and all of those things that we've showed ourselves, we now can give that to the world. And man, what a better place the world would be if we could all, all, all grasp that. It's a, it's a work in progress every day. That's something I work towards every day. Doesn't happen perfectly. I'm not perfect. I'm a mess, but I'm. I work to try and own my own, and that is just my prayer for you, my friend. Um, that you would be able to recognize how beautiful and wonderful you are, in all of your faults, in all of your strengths, and that you would take impeccable care of your heart and your soul. All right, loveys. I hope that your Sunday is awesome, and I, I'm not sure if I, am I going to see you again? I will. No. Let's see. I will. I will see you again before Christmas, so I won't wish you a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays just yet, but I hope you're surviving all of the craziness, and I hope that you're making sure that you take care of this beautiful heart that you've got. Alright loves, have a wonderful Sunday and always, always know that you are loved.